So, see, Thieves, they've dropped another uh, in-depth look at uh, being a captain for the game. And, uh, yeah, they seem to be dropping a lot of stuff recently. They're really pushing it. So, we're going to check this out together and find out what, what we've got here in store. And, uh, yeah, let's check this one out. I'm quite interested. Guys, I also stream on Twitch, and I play Sea of Thieves every Wednesday. But from launch date of this update, I'll be playing it for seven days straight. So... Make sure uh, you check out my Twitch page, twitch.tv forward slash Marzi. Let's get on with it. Any old nonsense? We In Season 7, oh. all players can become a pirate captain, which means they can buy their very own ship, give it its own name, and forge its legend. So excited. The ship is the heart of the crew, so being able to own your own ship and give it its own name means you can represent yourselves how you want to on the waves. Well, I think the first part of owning your ship is giving it a name. And that's your first chance to put your mark on the ship. Well, so you put it and I think when you think about know. the names that players can give their ships, it can be inspirational, it can be funny, and it can say something about who they are and the crew that sail on that ship. So players can own more than one ship. You can buy one of each ship size, and then when a ship becomes legendary, you unlock the ability to buy another ship of that size. So oh. we're looking forward to seeing players owning multiple ships of different types, and those ships being a reflection of different aspects of their personality and who they play with. So with Captaincy, you can customise your captain's cabin so you can change things like the table, the chair, the curtains, even the rugs and the chandeliers. There's a variety of furniture sets that should match anyone's taste. Um, you've got anything from the really sort of like regal ornate sets all the way down to the sort of yeah, burnt uh, ashen sets and things like that. You can mix and match if you like as well. But beyond that, you can add pictures on the walls, oh, ornaments nice. on the walls, have trophies around your ship that really reflect the things that you've uniquely done in the game. It's going to have that sense of almost like you're coming home or you're coming into your room where everything is familiar to you and your environment feels almost like a cosy kind of feeling. The trinkets are just another way for players to express themselves. Some kind of like uh, carry more of a meaningful achievement. A connection that a player might have, whereas some just range just down to maybe personality types. One other cool thing about the trinkets is they can actually be knocked out of position during storms or as your ship's sinking or when you're in a firefight, um, and then you can go back and sort of straighten things back up. Another new thing as part of the captaincy and the fact that you now actually own the ship is that its features become persistent. We actually can save a lot of the ship and load it for your next session. Every hit you take, every uh, fire that you have on your ship, every map pin you make, they're all saved and will come back to haunt you <laughs> when you next play. Your battle scars will, will, will come with you, oh, um, no, but cool. you can repair them uh, at a shipwright and decide whether or not you want to roll with the punches you've been given or if you want to be the cleanest ship on the seas. So players will find these new customization options in the shops at the outpost, but in order to unlock them, they'll need to earn milestones on their journey as a captain or a member of the crew. Milestones are a new way of tracking the things that you do in Sea of Thieves. And what makes them different is that they're uncapped. They're tracked forever, allowing you to look back on all the unique things that you've done. They're also aligned to different play styles. Of course, there's so many things you can do in Sea of Thieves, different places to visit, different play styles and quests to engage within. And milestones allow you to see the unique areas of Sea of Thieves that you're personally invested in and then show off that, that preference in that. your ship and the way it's, it shows up in the world. This has so been when you meet with other players in the game, you want them to be able to see everything that you've accomplished. You want to show it off, that's what it's there for. Whenever someone's boarding your ship to kill you, they get to stop and look at everything that you've accomplished in the game. <laughs> The Captain's Log is a new book that you'll be able to find on the Captain's Table. And inside you'll find important information all about the ship and its crew. Looking inside the Captain's Log, you can see the playstyle of that ship, the name it's been given, 
but the captain can also choose a key set of accolades that that ship has accomplished to show off what they're most proud of. And when your ship sinks, you'll lose your captain's log and it can be stolen and sold to the Reaper's Bones by enemy crews. With the logbook, we got given a few key words of what each of these play styles were, ranging from the third set where you have um, really nasty symbology with like the skulls and the, the sword, all the way through to the rogue set, which is a lot more lighter in tone. We have banjos, uh, musical instruments and notes. We needed to translate that through the, to the crests and we just wanted to craft a series of almost building blocks for people to pick and choose how they wanted to reflect themselves. We also wanted to bring in a set of unique conveniences for captains. And a big part of this are the sovereigns. The sovereigns, um, they are this new faction that you will be able to meet on every outpost. They're very proud of themselves, very full of themselves. They will only deal with you if you are a captain. And you know, if you're not worthy to speak with them, they'll just send you away. That you can okay, okay, uh, okay. bring all your treasure directly to them, which will speed up the safe. process of selling your treasure and gaining you that reputation. So much which, time. Which um, I'm very excited about. I want to get back on my ship and sail to a new adventure as soon as possible, and uh, the sovereigns allow you to do that. So for the aesthetic, we really wanted something very regal, and I think the team did a really great job of this just in the sovereign hut, which looks very fancy, and the iconography for that really reflects that as well. You have like the purples and the, and the oranges and the golds really that nice you, you see through the, the set and we've brought that through to the, the dressing on the tent itself and, and their outfits. You can have a sense of the history just by looking at everything else beyond their uniform. You can look at their scars, the choice of hair, the choice of anything else that's not, you know, their uniform that will tell you a bit more about their personalities. You'll really be able to see like the hut from a distance. It's this tall structure, it's got nice draping flags off it, this real regal feel to it. It's draped in cloth. It's totally different from any other building we've got. And on the hut, you'll notice these new mechanisms that we've been able to integrate. So we've got the lift mechanism that will be able to get your loot like up and down so cool. from within the Sovereign hut. We've got the harpoon to unload your, your loot from your rowboat and your ship and just make it a whole new experience for the players and get your loot on and off as quickly as possible. So another big part of the conveniences that we're bringing in with Captain C is to get your ship ship shape and ready for the adventure you're going to embark upon. So rather than scouring the outpost for extra supplies at the start of the session, you can spend some extra in-game gold to get your ship ready for the voyage you want to embark upon. So having your barrels stocked, having voyages waiting for you in the captain's cabin, this is all part of enriching your experience through you being a ship captain. That's good, I waste a lot of time collecting. The captain's fruit. voyages are stored directly on the ship and you'll be able to embark on a voyage for any of the trading companies. And there are a variety of activities and to choose from. You often think about a captain in their cabin, surrounded by charts of all the adventures they've yet to embark upon. And these are specific experiences that allow you to target what you want to do, how long you want to play for, the types of play styles you want to engage in, and it allows you direct access to them as a captain. So what I'm really excited for for season seven is definitely the log books. Just being able to return to your ship and have this log waiting for you. I think what's really fun about it is I just want a physical copy myself. I think it's just an awesome concept where you will be able to see and reflect just on your adventures in the Sea of Thieves. I'm excited just to see everyone decorating their ship how they like. It's going to be really interesting to see who likes to keep everything matching in an order or if you just like a mishmash of stuff. Yeah, it's going to be fun. But there's another aspect to being part of the crew that has its own name. It's the infamy, I suppose. People can look through a spyglass, spot your ship, and maybe they already know that you. So, <laughs> so I think Captain C is really one like of those that. features that was Knowing always going to are. come to Sea of Thieves. And beyond all the little conveniences and the features that we're adding, I just can't wait to see how players uniquely express themselves, and that ship truly being their home and a reflection of who they are and their journey. We know that players have been eager to become a captain in Sea of Thieves for a long time, and they finally can as part of Sea of Thieves Season 7. Well, guys, that looks awesome. Don't you guys agree? Not long now. Uh, what, we got like two days? I cannot wait. 
to play this, get my hands on it. And we are going to be streaming it for seven days in a row. Let me know, guys, what you think down below. Do you like it? Are you disappointed? What would you add? What would you take away? What would you change? Are you going to go for Skull and Bones and maybe put time into that instead of CFEs now? Who knows? Let me know, guys, and I'll see you with the next one. Take care.